Here we thought the Honor V10 was coming December 5th, but it's coming a lot sooner, this month. Previous rumors pegged December 5th in London as the first time we laid eyes on the phone. But Huawei took to Weibo to announce that we'd actually get our first official look a week earlier on November 28th in Beijing, China. The posting indicates that the phone will have a dual camera setup and have enhanced AI capabilities. These features were rumored in early reports, but now Huawei has confirmed it. According to Gizmo China, Honor CEO Xiaoming recently went on record to state that the V10 would be powered by the same Kirin 97 chipset found in the Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro. As for software, the Honor V10 would run the latest version of EMUI, version 8, on top of Android 8 Oreo. Unlike some of the higher-end contemporaries, which feature tall displays and differing aspect ratios, the Honor V10 will reportedly stick with the 5.99-inch 18.9 display with minimal bezels. According to leaked documents spotted by Giz China, the Honor V10 sports Huawei's in-house Kirin 97 chipset, the same found in the Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro. As such, we can assume that the Honor V10 will include some AI-focused features on the hardware and software fronts, though it will ultimately be up to Huawei as to what will be included and left out. And next up, Xiaomi seems to be getting into the holiday spirit with new products just in time for the holidays. The Mi Sphere camera is the most expensive of the bunch at $299. It records 360 degree panoramas at 23.88 megapixels, which means that you can record up to 3.5K or just shy of what your 4K TV can display. The camera supports two shooting modes with a resolution of 2304 by 1152 at 60 frames per second or a resolution of 3456 by 1728 at 30 frames per second. It's IP67 rated for dust and water resistance and has six access stabilization. Now what about this? A Xiaomi Mi robot. The Mi Robot Builder Kit lets you build one of three different robots from a 978 part kit. The fun part doesn't stop there. You can download an app on your phone and program the robot. Its self-balancing includes high capacity batteries, so the fun won't stop anytime soon. Xiaomi is also selling two new different types of headphones, over-the-ear and in-ear buds. The Xiaomi Mi headphones are the over-the-ear headphones and will run you $130. Xiaomi says they are crafted with the new graphene material to provide high-performance audio. And a passive radiator provides fully immersive hi-fi experience and powerful bass. And Xiaomi hasn't forgot all you battery hogs out there, and there are a lot of you, because they've provided us with the Power Bank Pro. Now, I haven't used it, but it must be doing pretty well because it's sold out, currently out of stock. But if you look in the link I provided below, it'll take you to the article and you can follow that link in the article and get the updates when needed. Now I know from reading comments in past shows that there are still a sizable number of Nokia fans out there. And you'll be happy to know that not only is the Nokia 2 coming very soon, but it's coming to the US. As of right now, you can head over to the Amazon listing for the Nokia 2 and check out all the details, although it is not on sale just yet, but will be very soon. The phone comes unlocked for use on GSM networks like AT&T and T-Mobile, but will not work on Sprint or Verizon. It has a low-powered Qualcomm Snapdragon 212 processor, a 5-inch 720p display, but a massive 4100 milliamp hour battery. It comes with Android 7.1.2 out of the box, and much like other Nokia devices, there's promised upgrades for Android Aureo and Android P. The rest of the specs include an 8 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel front facing camera, 1 gigabyte of RAM, 8 gigabytes of onboard storage, but luckily you can expand the storage with a micro SD card, but you're stuck with a paltry 1 gigabyte of RAM. There's support for dual SIM cards, LTE, and the phone comes in three colors, black, copper, and white. Now don't let those specs chase you away just yet. You should know that the phone is being priced for $99. Hey guys, I got a question for you. You know that I have the new Pixel 2, the, the smaller version, and I have a bunch of cases for them. And I wanna know from you, what do you look for in a case? Do you use a case? If you do, what are you looking for in the case? For me, I'm usually looking for something that's really thin and just provides minimal protection. I don't wanna add bulk because I don't like big phones. What are your priorities? Let me know in the comments below, preferably on Twitter, because it's easier to track right there. Let me know what you think. Thanks.
Now my audience is smart. So smart that sometimes you're inspired by a business idea. And then you try and get the name of that business in a domain name. And your next prospective customer is searching your business name and they assume you have the .com. And if you don't, you're giving your business away to the one who does. That's the power of a .com. Now, why is that exactly? Well, no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want to be credible? And don't forget, you get 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, think domain.com.